What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a super simple fix to an issue that you may be having on your Windows computer. I'll simply start by hitting Start and E to bring up a new file explorer. You can see that my C drive is being eaten up by quite a bit of space. There's only 85 gigs free of about 420. If I open it up, you'll see these files over here. Now, without a program like Tree Size, we wouldn't know exactly where the file space is going. If I open up Tree Size and bring it across to the screen, you can see where all of my space is going for all of these different files and folders. Over here, we have five files that weigh in about 35 gigabytes with hyperfile.sys taking up 25 gigs and pagefile.sys taking up 9.5 gigs. But if we have a look at the folder over here, you don't see either of those files visible here. Why is that? Well, simply because they're protected Windows files. At the very top, I'll head across to View and then I'll click the Options button over here. Then select View at the very top, scroll down a little bit and make sure that Hide Protected Operating System Files is unchecked as such then hit apply and OK. Upon doing this, we should see a whole bunch of new files pop up, including Hyber file and page file. As you can see, the Hyber file is almost 27 gigs big and it's taking up a lot of space for a feature that I don't even use. What exactly is hyberfile.sys? Well, it's simply used by Windows when you put your PC into hibernation mode. If you're like me and you don't even have hibernation mode enabled, well, then you can get rid of this file over here without worrying that it'll affect other things. But we can't simply delete this file over here as that wouldn't work. I'll hit start and click the power button. And as you can see, I only have sleep, shut down and restart as options. Hibernate isn't an option there. So first of all, to get rid of this file, we simply need to turn off hibernation. Press start type in CMD, and then make sure you have command prompt highlighted. Then right click and click run as admin or click it over here. After the command prompt window opens up, simply type in power CFG space hyphen H space off. This will turn off hibernation. I'll hit enter, nothing is returned back and we can start typing again. Cool, it worked. And as you can see, after a couple of seconds, the hibernation file is deleted from our PC. And of course, with that big file gone, the only other big file here that is slightly unnecessary is the pagefile.sys file. In today's video, I'm not going to go through deleting it, but if you want to go ahead and research turning it off and deleting it, you may as well know exactly what it does. So what exactly does pagefile.sys do? Well, it's simply more RAM for you to use in your computer when you run out of physical RAM on your physical RAM sticks. If you're like me and you have a large amount of RAM on your PC, more than enough to run the programs that you use, you can check that in the Task Manager performance section over here. As long as you don't fill up this graph entirely, then you probably are safe removing this page file.sys file or at least making it a lot smaller. I will be keeping this, however, as 9 gigs is almost nothing on this hard disk of mine. If you're struggling with 100 or 200 gigs, you may find it more important to remove this. But for me, I'm more than fine leaving this here and having slightly less space on my main SSD where Windows is installed, even if it gives me quite literally no extra performance or a little bit of extra performance. That Hyper file for us, on the other hand, wasn't actually doing anything for my PC except for taking up space. I probably put it into hibernation mode a very long time ago, and that file has just sat there ever since. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.